morning. I am leaving the Edgar V shelter and heading north. The Dahlgrand campground, backpackers campground is 11 miles away. And depending on how I feel when I get there, I may go further. I have like 34 and a half miles to the M Mason Dixon line. And uh, yeah, if the trail is good, I could go pretty far. And there's a lot of cool stops along the way. And um, yeah, we'll see how the day plays out. The privy at Ed Garvey Shelter is not that great. There's an old privy there, which looks super cool. It's more like a, looks like a log cabin. So the usable one though, it's just like plywood and there's a stair missing. And yeah, I slept in the shelter because everything was soaking wet. I did hang my tent up and it's almost completely dry, which is great. And there's no rain in the forecast today. Yay. wagon route because it's wide enough for something like that. And up there is Gap's empty tomb. I think. It's pretty cool to be hiking through Civil War battle areas. empty tomb because I had to find out the story is that George Alfred Townsend was a war correspondent for the Civil War or during the Civil War and he was with the people at the Gafflin State Park area where there was a Civil War battle it was the push to Antietam and he came back afterwards, bought the property, built all the buildings, had the arch 
built to commemorate war correspondence of the Civil War, which is really cool, and built the tomb for himself, for himself, his wife, and his family, or his parents, to be buried there when he died, and lived there for a long time. But then his wife, Bess, died and in Philadelphia and was buried there. And then he died in 1914 in Philadelphia and was buried with his wife. And so the tomb is completely empty. Nobody was buried there. Um, it's a really cool story if you ever want to look it up. I enjoyed reading it. Is this Roxylvania? No. It's Maryland. not gonna check out the Rocky Run shelters. Apparently there's two of them. Or maybe, I don't know. But people I met last night said there was a guy at that shelter who was really weird. So, and they didn't know if he was a real hiker or not. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Let me just keep going. Civil War history, Civil War battlefields, hollowed ground. It's very cool.
I just took a lunch break at the Dahlgren backpacking campground and it's just it's like 2 30 ish and I've hiked 11 miles and I really want to see the Washington Monument today because it's a beautiful day now and I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow so I may regret this my I think it's still like two no I think it's only like another mile but we'll see how far I get um, I'm definitely gonna get to the Washington Monument it's nice to take a break. Oh, and I met three through hikers today so far. And I also met a couple of guys who are northbound doing a section hike from Harper's Ferry to Duncannon. So maybe I'll run into them again too. <music> Washington Monument. That's very neat. Built in 1827. Repaired and altered many times over a hundred years by patriotic citizens. It's, this is its final restored original design. And it was used by the Union Army during the Civil War as a signal station. Very cool. I think I might make it to the Pine Knob Shelter. It's gonna be my longest hiking day on the trail so far. Um, and I'm like looking at the mileage. I have a spreadsheet for all the states and, but it's confusing because North Carolina and Tennessee hop back and forth and it's hard to know which miles are in which state. And it turns out West Virginia has 28 trail miles, not just Harper's Ferry. So uh, again, where does Virginia end and West Virginia begin? I think it travels along the border of the two states for a minute, but I don't know where which is killing my nerdy brain because <laughs> I want to know how to fix my spreadsheet. And I guess the only way to fix my spreadsheet is to eliminate all the states and just focus on putting the trail miles in order <laughs> on the spreadsheet. It's a ridiculous dilemma to have. But 
It's also keeping my mind occupied. While I trudge down the trail for, I have like two more miles or just over two more miles to hike to get to the Pine Knob Shelter. So that's a plus, I guess. Things I think about when I'm hiking. I'm not bored. shelter. I'm staying on that tent platform right there. This has been my longest hiking day on the Appalachian Trail, mileage wise. Very tiny shelter. That's nice. They have bear pole. I guess that's where I'll put my food since they have it. I'm so tired that I'll show you all the privy in the morning. I have to figure out how many miles I walked. I hiked 17.3 miles today. I am a bad axe mofo. I'm gonna get my stuff set up. Got my awesome twinkle lights hanging and I'm done. See you tomorrow.